Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. We are live, and in effect, it is a Tuesday just before 6. And we're here. Greetings, members. All right, very good. We've got uh, Donald in New Mexico is first, and he says, hi, Sal. Good to see you, Donald. I hope you're doing well, my friend. And the stacking kid is number two. Trevor Points is here. Good to see you. Uh, correction. Actually, the stacking kid is not number two. He is second. He made a correction there. He's second. Okay, very, very good. All right. Nicely done. Glad to see you guys pop in here. Very good. So we're moving ahead here. And we've got a little comment review. We've got Barbara Carbone says, The markets, yay, it's a nice ride, Sal. Where we end up, we don't know. And that was from yesterday's video. And today's video is telling us that we are in the... Uh, green, indeed. It's all good. Is here and NG Coins is here. Good to see you. Uh, Louis Fans T Storm and TC is here. Uh, Days and Confused Stackers here and uh, good to see Chuck and Plata. Yes, alive and extremely well. Hope you're doing well too, Chuck and Plata. There's a slurp in your honor, Cheap uh, Laugh Kennedy. And you guys are gonna we're gonna want to stay tuned. By the way. Um, as we go, we're going to dip into the markets a little bit tonight, too. Uh, just because we're seeing some movement in the upper direction, kind of want to see what it does during the course of the stream. Not nearly as much as we would on a Sunday night, but if Chuck and Plata can hang with me for a while, we're going to uh, uh, gather a few more, actually a lot more viewers, hopefully. If we can get uh, a good number of them, i got an announcement to make. Uh, Silver Spot hit $18 for a few minutes today. Wow, interesting. So, so it did go up. It's eighteen dollars. Let's take a look and see exactly what that looked like on the chart here. Um, I'm not showing that it went to eighteen here on this. Maybe by some bullion dealers' websites it did, but uh, on Kitco, uh, which is the really the probably even though Kitco technically is a dealer too, they're going to have the most conservative spot prices uh, for sure. I would not, not go by bullion dealer uh, spot prices. I would go by Kitco. That's what I use. Or some other non-affiliated platform for spot prices. But uh, nonetheless, it did get up over 1740. Um, and now it's uh, back down there. So it's at 1744 now. But it did get up there a little, I don't know, maybe 1760. But I digress. All right, very good. All right, yes, 100 to 1 gold to silver ratio. Covered that in today's video, too. Good to see you guys. All right. Silver drill pickles here. Good to see you. And we've got some good... All right, a silver wolverine is on is on fuego. I don't know what fuego is, but good to see you. Unless that means strength. Tierra de fuego, land of the strong. Juan is here. All right, Terry is here. We got Terry. She she wasn't here um, Sunday night, uh, and I was last Sunday night. But if she was here, she may have been last. All yeah, right, but she got it the time before that, and I got it the time before that. Calvin Cooper's here. Silver Drill Pickles here. Trevor Points. Good to see you guys. All right, so let's get back up here. That's a really beautiful video. Thank you. Uh, Fiat Destroyer says. <clears throat> um, Either way, I'm ready to buy more if it drops or sell a little if it goes if it gets pretty high. I'd rather not sell though. I hear you. Rather not sell either. I tell you, I'm with you. I like to hold on to it. All right, very good. April Moore is here. Hello, April Moore. I think you're new here too. Welcome. Hmm. And Terry's last. There she is. Terry's last. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, NG Coins. Good to see you. Bill four five seven is here. Heading towards my silver to gold ratio. All right. Spanish for on fire. Okay, very cool. Fire. Fuego. Okay, I thought Fuego meant strength. Very good. On fire. Very good, Silver Wolverine. Nice. Russian bot says, Where DT is, when DT is reelected, life will get real and boom, bang in the order of oaks. Okay. All right. We'll see. I don't know what that means about gold and silver. We'll find out. John W. says, I think... It has ants in the pants for sure. Thanks. Thumbs up for you. Well, thank you, John W. Yes, indeed. It'll think that it doesn't mean that silver can't take a dip backwards and a pretty substantial drop because, like I said, silver is a more volatile metal. Uh, indeed. 
Thousand Dare Radio says, I know gold is up, but I picked up a 10 gram Pam Swiss bar for 572. Anyway, all right, very good. Yeah, you know what? I'm still kind of a buyer too at these prices. I'm just buying a little bit less um, for sure. But uh, yeah, okay. Uh, let's see, let's go up here. We've got a couple, okay, here. So the Yana 2009 says, I predict around June, July, as as a reality sits in a, a, about COVID-19, we'll see another huge dip in the market. The only problem is premiums are keeping silver at 20 plus and private sellers are cashing in too. So people should make sure they have cash to pay bills. But anyway, this is the new normal. The Fed can only prop, prop, prop us up for so long. Even if it's at the end of the year, going into 2021, everyone should be prepared. That's true. Some good points for sure. It is hard to find silver for below 20. Uh, I'm not seeing any silver for under 20 these days, even in the generic stuff. Uh, slab buffaloes. Um, <clears throat> let's see. They're typically not going for a whole lot more than a regular buffalo is. Jamie Fox, you're talking about the gold ones. I would not pay a premium for a slapped buffalo, in other words. All right. Uh, Lee Oldham says, which the miners, uh, stocks, investors can get physical, so they are looking to the miners to hedge. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I tell you what, though, if you get into mining stocks, you pretty much might as well just be in the stock market because you have to know so much about each of those miners. But I see what you're saying. Uh, money printer go burr burr. I'd like to see silver bounce off the $17 price a few times. I'd like to see that become our new support price before it moves higher. Yeah, it used to be kind of the support price. Uh, then it went to the bottom dropped out of it. But anyways, uh, let's see here. Native Stacker for the last two weeks, Kidco, along with the others, have been re reporting the wrong silver spot. Bloomberg and markets live both show the same price, 40 cents more than Kitco. Yeah, and I don't know what to believe. Um, markets live, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's crazy. So they're showing Kitco is lower than it than usual. Yeah, well, I'll have to see. I don't know if there's an actual authoritative place for, for silver prices. Three nines is here. Hello, three nines. Good to see you. All right, very good. Uh, let's get up here. Okay, Jerome Powell pushed gold and silver down yesterday. And today he's pushing them up. That's right. He's pushing them up today. Watch my newest video about that. You'll see. Okay. <clears throat> let's see. Wishful thinking. Silver will never be over 2,000 Federal Reserve notes per ounce. There is no way to save yourself from these controllers of the paradigm unless they are removed from power. Don't expect the government to do this. For Americans, yes, indeed. Well, the thing is, is uh, I was not wishful thinking. I never even implied that silver was going to be over 2,000 Federal Reserve notes per ounce. If you watch the video, Billy Bob explicitly explained that that is the measure. It's a ratio. It's a measure of, of dollar bills printed uh, annually uh, per the annual supply of silver per year. Very different number. And explain that very clearly in there. Listen to all and follow none, says Jeffrey Sparks. I love the silver rounds Chris created, silver shields of enslavement and enlightenment. Okay, very good. He's a fan, very good. Coins A to Z is here. Eli the Wolverine State is here. Good to see you both. Jamie Fox and Austrian Stacker. Good to see you guys. Savage Stacker says, I believe in cost averaging. Uh, with my gold, but I kind of buy silver when I ever get, whenever I can get it, is pretty much every day. But I have to put silver down. And I'm only focusing on gold. I got an ounce and a half of gold on the lady. In the lady, three thirty days. If the GSR moves lower, much lower, I will trade for gold with a quickness. But I have about two hundred ounces of silver. That will never leave my stack. Thank you, Sally. Yeah, very good. I always encourage folks to diversify into some gold, even when the ratio is high, I believe. I, because gold is a more stable, I believe. It's the ultimate uh, form of, of economic instability. It's the ultimate hedge. All right, very good. Hello, Vogus. Good to see you. And we have Colorado Kid, who's tuned in while he's on his last hour of work. So I hope we can make that last hour of work go by for him uh, smoothly there and quickly. 
Cyber Curtain Twitcher is here. Vogus, always good to see Vogus. Yes, indeed. And Barbara Carbone is here. Hello, Barbara. There's a slurp in your honor right as we pop, popped in there. Very good. Willie565 says, as I'm new to this, you explained it perfectly towards the end. Silver is an inflation protector for the long run. Better than relying on paper fiat. At least that's what I understand. I'm stacking kilo silver bars. Thank you for this. Very cool. I would encourage you to get some eagles too. It's the most liquid. And then get other things. And the kilo bars are fine. To have a few of those. But I would not make that your foundation. All right. Very good. Grow mechanic push-ups. Yeah, we'll see about doing some push-ups later. We'll see here. All right. Let's see here. Surfside was able to find 20 ounces at his local pawn shop for $20, but that's really good. Wow. Melting down, I'll stick to a decoder, and this doesn't provide any interest, but no one side, in my opinion. Too many downsides. Thanks for the update, though. Skeptical of this new ASC now. Uh, not only does it RFID the coin, but anything else it's with. Uh, what if the system is hacked? Personally, not a product for me, a move. And the playbook sounds like possibility. Who knows, right? Well, we don't know exactly what the security measures are going to be for the uh, Silver Eagles. But I, my guess is they're not going to be a chip in them. We'll see here. <clears throat> Let's see here. Okay. Uh, Coins A to Z. Terry was josing. Oh, yeah, that's right. You weren't there. That's right. She wasn't there. So we were josing on her. Kennedy Allen. Hello. Good to see you. Just read the headlines that Germany is in recession after 100 banks announced negative interest rates. Wow. That is new. That is crazy. Yeah. Man. Silver Wolverine bought a gold mining stock a few years ago and took a beating. Broker said I had to sell it or move it somewhere else because they are no longer trading it. Yeah, that's too risky, man. I would not get mining stocks. That's not for me. You got to know a lot about these companies. You know what I mean? It's just uh, they each have their, their own little idiosyncrasies about them. If you're gonna if you're gonna invest in mining stocks, you might as well invest in Tesla or Microsoft or Apple or Google or whatever else is out there. Facebook, you might as well just go all in on some of those other co companies. Is my feeling. Silver Wolverine thinks that silver will probably hover around seventeen ish. Yes, indeed. Well, yeah. Palladium is ugly, to tell you the truth. Says Razy, yeah, it's not the most attractive of the metals. I, I I can agree with you on that. Gold Addict says, geez, they even want to put a chip in our silver. You can't have any privacy at all. So this is why they can drive by neighborhoods with a surveillance fantasy who's still hiding silver and gold after they ask us to turn over our stacks to the government. Yeah, that's right. Well, luckily, I only ordered one. And it's very easily uh, destroyed, by the way. Very easy for me to destroy if I so wished. All right. We're gonna, Silver Smith, what if I walked into my LCS? Which spot price chart would I negotiate with? The bid price. It's the bid price. So whatever they tell you the spot is. Uh, each local coin shop is different. And, uh, but I can tell you the, the local coin shops are not going to use Atmex spot price. Or Provident Metals, that's for sure. All right. Uh, let's see here. No hurry. Where are people posting these questions or comments he's responding to? On the videos. See this video here? Is the White House selling COVID-19 coins? Ray S. says, what a trashy coin. And I'm kind of agreeing with him. It is a little bit trashy. I'm not I'm not a, really a big fan of it. A little gaudy. That's how it's happening. Justin Snyder on the What Happened to Chris Duane video. His videos were one of the very first I ever saw on YouTube that got me into stacking. I did... Let myself get consumed with FOMO after watching them, though. That was almost a decade ago, though, and I have much more experience now. That's right, exactly. And that, in a way, is is uh, irresponsible on on um, on Chris's part, I believe, to uh, get people fear mong fear mongering silver. I just don't think that's wise to do. Jimmy Lacari, hope you're doing well. Wanted to come by, show some love, and smash the like button. Well, thank you, Jimmy Lacari. I appreciate that indeed, sir. All right. Sal, were any rounds fired in this destruction? All right. Fired in the destruction. I'm not sure. Silver Orbeam, my LCS uses Kitco. It's on the wall. Very good. Yep. Hello, Rick. Good to see you. 
Jason Sellen says, most certainly the premiums are definitely going to uh, going up on constitutional. I just bought $35 worth and had to pay 13 and a half times face. Yeah, yeah, they, they have gone up. And that's considered a, probably a pretty decent deal for constitutional silver right now. All right, we've got 78 watching. And since we have 78 watching now, uh, usually my weekly uh, views, that's about average. I might get a little bit more than this, but I think it's uh, about time. Is Chuck and Plata still here? Chuck and Plata, make yourself known if you're still here. I have an announcement to make and a little lesson to share with you guys. Mark uh, Hazley says, May futures at 1788 as of this post. Sil Silver still showing a short squeeze in my opinion. Okay. All right. We shall see. Very good. Okay. He also says, speaking of First Majestic, the new refined product price is $20 an ounce for half ounce or to 10 ounce product. I'm on a waiting list to see if they're offering what their bars and ingots get restocked. 50 cent discount if you're a shareholder. Okay, very good. So about $20 is kind of the average price for silver these days. Okay, so, so with that being said, um, Chuck and Plata has been stacking silver for quite some time. And for those of you familiar with Chuck and Plata, especially those of you in the live stream here, you guys know uh, Chuck and Plata. And, uh, and you also know uh, that uh, somebody like that who's been around a long time, I can vouch for. Not only can I vouch for, I would uh, put my reputation on the line for Chuck and Plata. Um, and uh, with that being said, Chuck and Plata is, has reached retirement age. And he's doing what uh, normally somebody would do at retirement. Now, you can do one or two things at retirement. You can sell your precious metals and enjoy life. Or you could pass them down to the next generation. Well, Chuck and Plata is at a point where he's ready to sell uh, some of his precious metals. And he's got silver. He has got uh, he has accumulated some silver and he's got some silver generic buffaloes that he's willing to sell at a decent price, I feel. Um, and it's a price that I think that um, uh, where he would essentially break even on, I think, is what he'd be willing to sell it for. I'm not going to tell you the price he's selling them for. But if you want some silver at a very competitive price, I would encourage you to, um, those of you who are viewing this video right now, and that uh, uh, see Chuck here, he's inside the chat right now. Chuck and Plata is the name. Um, you can uh, chat with him here, and he can uh, tell you he's got a good amount. He's got plenty of these things he's ready to sell right now, and he wants to um, uh, be able to cash out for some of his silver. And for somebody who's retiring, you know, I would do the same thing. This is the time to sell. This is why we stack. We stack to preserve our wealth uh, uh, for sure. And so con Chuck will uh, let you know how to contact him in the chat here. Um, I don't know if this thing will let you, Chuck, put out your full email address, but you're welcome to do that um, or however you want to do it. But uh, he will be fair with you and uh, he will give you a fair deal. But also keep in mind, anybody who's buying silver from Chuck, no matter what price he quotes, um, uh, you know, I would certainly, you know, give him a little bit of love, you know, maybe offer him a little bit more, you know, just to, you know, just to, because he's a good guy. He's been in the community a long time. He's very supportive of the community. And, uh, and I think that it's one of those things that, um, um, you know, that I think people will get to retirement age and they're going to want to want to sell and they want to be able to come out okay on the on the on a on a on a at least on at least on a break even spiel. So this is one opportunity for us to take part in helping Chuck in his retirement. So there you go. And this is an example, folks, of people in the community working together because it's tough to trust people from outside of the community. It's tough to trust people. Um, sometimes even from within the community, you've got to be careful out there, um, which is why. And so people are putting their email addresses up and, uh, that's good. So there you go. Chuck, you're seeing some of their email addresses there. You can email them, negotiate. He will be fair. And, um, and I think that's one of those things where you're going to be getting, getting some silver in return. I think at a fair price, 
because I do believe silver is probably going to go up in the future, but you can't count on that no matter where you buy silver. That's the one thing with silver, especially silver, is it is volatile. Um, so that anybody that buys, but you know, no matter what happens with silver, uh, you buying it from Chuck, I believe, shows um, you know it's a foreshadowing of where you'll be one day. And so you may take that same silver you buy from Chuck and uh, sell it, you know, 20, 30 years from now or whatever you retire and think back, hey, I help somebody retire. And so I'm going to be doing the same thing. And you could tell the story. This is second generation retirement silver and you'll be selling it to somebody who 20 and 30 years from after that will sell it. And uh, who knows what they'll get for it. Who knows what, if, what the dollar will even look like in that time. But anyways, so there you go. All right. Very good. Somebody fill in Tricky Guy about Chuck and Plot to Silver. Or Chuck, or Tricky Guy, rewind this video. You might want to do it because Tricky Guy's a long way away from retirement, man. He's got many years to go left from retirement. Mm. Ah, so there you go. That's my public service announcement. So, uh, very good. Okay, break out to this. I won't check that out now. Copyright. Uh, 15K Dow 2022. When it's high, I buy. When it's low, I buy more because I know what's coming. That's kind of my philosophy too. Yep, as I mentioned in the video, I am a dollar cost average guy through and through. However, I believe in buying more when it's less and I believe in buying less when it's more. And I also believe in not buying at all when I don't need to or when I have that money earmarked for something else. Uh, yes. Oh, man. Vogus. Thank you so much, Vogus. Very kind of you. First super, super chat of the night. Thank you so much, my friend. $20. Um, and he does that with a great public service announcement. Don't forget to use masks outdoors and indoors in public when you're around other folks. Yes, indeed. Fist bump. Vogus, thank you so much, my friend. Very kind of you. Everybody be safe out there. So there's Chuck and Plata's email, guys. If you want to uh, get in touch with him, if you're interested in buying silver generic buffaloes, he's going to treat you right. I can definitely vouch for him. I stake my my reputation um, on, on the validity of Chuck and Plata. He's a great guy, and he will treat you right for sure. I don't think you'll be disappointed. All right, very good. Uh, thank you again, Vogus. That was very kind of you. You guys definitely should check out Vogus' channel too. He's a good guy. He um um is definitely he knows how to prepare. Man, he had to prepare for a surgery that ended up doing better than what we thought. But boy, he thought of everything under the books. He's smart, and uh, he um also has done a great community service about the hack job that has done on his channel so he's back in full force again bogus mm. yes mark b got the second black flag series yes that's right couple plus 2020 and i'm not gotten into the black uh the black flag series i think they're cool they're kind of neat looking it's just not my cup of tea john smith says for those who bought gold and silver could be incriminated criminally on a, an as needed basis to buy groceries or other small items in times of emergency. I noticed, ironically uh, enough, that silver has a minimum sale of 25 ounces of gold or 500 ounces of silver. Hopefully, not all dealers are like this. Yeah, yeah, Kitco does have weird minimums and and stuff, and I've never dealt with them before. But yeah, in fact, they're not really known as a dealer. Most people don't even realize. But yes, Kitco is definitely a dealer. Uh, for sure. So, anyways. Okay. Joe Williams says, he's the one who got me stacking silver. And there's something to be said about someone who never wavers from their beliefs. He has an eight-hour informative video that he's saying he wanted people to watch. And that he, um, that why he took down his other videos. Hope he gets back up. All right, very good. All right, thanks, Joe. Yep. All right. Damien Kinchin is here. Anyone from Louisiana want to sell silver? Um, Damien. Uh, you came in just in the nick of time because there is a guy here that wants to sell silver. And, uh, yeah, his name is Chuck Complata. If you scroll up, you can see his email address. He will give you a fair deal. In fact, that's kind of part of what this live stream was about. 
So uh, check it out. Um, Chuck and Plot is his name. And uh, maybe, Chuck, you'll post in here your, e your uh, email address again. And he can do that. All right, very good. All right. Son of a Silver Stacker. Hello, good to see you, sir. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Jacob, 1556. It would be cool if you have a feature that you can track it from an app if someone scans it after it's been stolen. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think the thing would do that. Like where it is. Yeah, location ID. I don't know. I don't know if that, I don't think that's what NFC is. Near field communications. But I don't know. Maybe so. I don't think at least that's something that will be public, but anyways. All right, very good. Silver Honda says, first, how is everybody? Silver Honda, we're doing good. How are you doing this on my video today with the toolbox? Y'all like how I decorated that toolbox? If you liked how I decorated that toolbox, type in the word FED in all capital letters if you like how I decorated this toolbox in a thumbnail. Let's see if Ken Chenji will do that. Will Ken Shenkenji recognize anything that I do? Will he say anything positive about anything that I do on this thumbnail? Ken Shenkenji, let me know your thoughts about this uh, decorative thing on the on the thumbnail, Ken Shenkenji. Let's see uh, some positivity from Ken Shenkenji. Ken Shenkenji, Genji, Genji's Khan. Rocky Mountain Bear says, Fed, very good, he liked it. Thank you, all right. I'm looking for a little bit of love here tonight. That's what I'm looking for a little bit of love. Looking for a little bit of love. All right. Vega Stacker says Fed. Very cool native st Stacker says Fed. Mark B says Fed. Jeffrey Parks, we're, we're now commenting Jeffrey uh, Parks on this toolbox. What are your thoughts on the toolbox, Jeffrey? Come on, Jeffrey. Let's hear it, Jeffrey. This, that's the important thing. Screw the coronavirus. We're talking about this toolbox right now. Uh, CCT, Silver Hair Stacker is doing better than us Silver and Gold Stackers. He just sold a 25 cent vintage video game for 100 bucks. Whoa, incredible. He is doing very well. He's doing very, very well. Yes, indeed. Man, Silver Hair, he knows how to hustle it, that's for sure. Pilot Dude, all right, good to see Pilot Dude. Silver Honda says Fed. Silver Honda drives a blue Honda. Silver Honda just posted a new video. You've got to check out Silver Honda's video. Kenshin Kenjenji, will you please do me a favor, Kenshin Kenjenji? Number one, I need you to type the word fed when you see this box, okay? You're looking at it right now. Type the word fed. That, and I need you, Kenshin Kenjenji, Kenshin Kenjenji, to go over to Silver Honda's channel right now and watch this video and thumb it up for me. Do that, please, Kenshin Kenjenji. All right, that would be fun. Barbara Carbone, hey, all right. Tricky guy says, Fed, all right. All is one now is slurptastically here, all right. Silver Wolverine says, I'm already for silver to rise. Sorry, I haven't wanted, to, some haven't, some I haven't wanted to happen. All right, very good, yes, indeed. I think it's good it's happening. I think it's showing, I think it's showing that uh, silver is still viable. It's viable as a, Wealth preserving device, yes, indeed. But it's something that you gotta have the stomach for in the long, long term. Scammer calls tonight. We might try to do one here. I got a number, might try it right now. Actually, about time. How, Sal? Huh, Sal? I'm glad to see it climb. Me too. Amen, brother. Let's call a scammer. Uh, we've got Scammers Paradise. We're calling Jeff here. Left me a Long message in my voicemail today. So we're going to call him back if I can remember. All right, Kenshin Kenji said Fed. All right, thank you, Kenshin Kenshin Kenji. I'm not pronouncing that right. No, I'm not trying to. Thank you, Kenshin Kenji. Thank you. Silver's not money, he says. I know he hates silver, but it is money. It's dormant money, but it is money. All right, come on, Jeff. Come on, Jeff. Answer me on the request line, Jeff. Make it happen. Let's take another slurp while we wait for him to answer. And then we've got some other numbers we'll try here. We've got Natalie. 
Natalie King. Silver Stanger is here. Silver Stanger, good to see you, sir. He's here. Damien sub Silver Honda. Very cool. He's over 500 subs now. Medium Man is here. Silver Wolverine started listening to a, a, a lot of the video while driving and do voice text and words are not always great. Oh, yeah, no worries. Yeah, that's no worries. Thank you for commenting. You're awesome. Jeffrey, we're calling a scammer named Jeff. And I don't know why he's not answering. This really is starting to tee me off right now. How long does it take to transport silver across the globe? I don't know. Probably a long time. Come on, Jeff. All right, not answering. Let's try Natalie. This is Natalie King Cole. No, we didn't do that right. Come on, Natalie. Make it happen. Call us. Answer. Black Silk tonight. Black Silk decaf. Yeah. Hi. Thank you for calling. If you are interested in speaking to a representative in order to obtain an insurance quote, please press 1. If... We currently do not have any agents available. Son of Thank a... Thank you for calling. We got to call that one earlier. We got to call that one. I got to do that right when we first come on board here. Steve, let's try to call Steve. I tell you what, the scammer calls, most of the scammer calls I'm getting are from India these days. And uh, they're not, uh, you can't call them back. You can't, they don't have a way, you can't, they won't let you call them. So I have a feel, feeling we're not going to have much luck tonight, guys, as much as we try. <laughs> Almost paradise. Scammers knocking on scammers' door. To an automatic voice message system. Six, three, one, oh, come six, on, six, two, two, four. Stupid idiots. All right, very good. Okay. They don't answer burn phones. My phone's not on fire. They're not on fire. All right. Stephen, uh, Stephen Mazur says, starting to enjoy your Let's Explore. Silver needs to know, are we there yet? $50 US an ounce, yes. Yes, and I think that's wishful thinking for 50 bucks. I'd be happy for 20 bucks, you know, for the end of the year. That's kind of what I'm predicting. I'm still sticking to that. I may be wrong, but we'll see here. Tricky Guy, of all the coins issued by Nation, which one is the most beautiful? By the way, Tricky Guy, I've not forgotten about your other question. I'm going to hopefully find and do I'm still looking for that coin. Uh, don't just say SC yes, because we all love them the most. Um, dang, that's, man, it's so many different coin designs out there. Um, it's, it's hard to say. I kind of like some of the older French coins. Um, and, uh, but man... I don't know, man. Probably the St. Gaudens is probably still probably one of the most beautiful gold coin in the world. Gold coin, but man, any of the silver coins? Dang it, I just don't know. Larry Lewin, silver and gold, the medal of God. Yes, indeed. Okay. Silver fan, I think silver ready to shine bright. Yes, indeed. Well, you know, think about it. There's some people have been so teed off about silver for so long. People like Bill 457, who would be like to sell at 21. And it's like, okay, I just want to get rid of it before I lose any more money on it. So you might see an influx of silver being sold as it starts to make its climb up to $25. Uh, so we'll see here. But anyways... Okay, let's see. Eli, the uh, Wolverine State, says, let's devalue the currency to help the economy. Uh, WTF, are they so dense that the Fed just watching out for their stockholders? I know, let's devalue the currency and see this time if it helps the economy because it never has ever. The Fed looks out for stockholders. A look at money as circulation versus the Fed assets. Who's getting rich to help the uh, economy? Currency needs to go up in value, not down. Uh, that's right. Well, and the thing is, is the dollar index is a measure of that value. And so far, silver, I mean, the dollar has kind of held its own. I think it'll really happen once these dollars start to really hit the circulation and stuff like that. But anyways, we'll see. 
Okay, where are we at? Okay, Ken Bricken. Oh, what to do, he says, Ken. All right. Coins A to Z. What do you call the government's management of a fiat currency such as U.S. dollar? Voodoo economics. Yeah, there you go. Yes, indeed. All right, son of a silver stacker. Do you see that precious metal products, 20 ASC AM, American Silver Eagle, one ounce precious metal, you know, the number went down from this for the 17th. Uh, so they're selling less of them now, I guess. Yeah. For May. Unless it's a partial, I don't know, for the week or never, but yeah, yeah. But that's not terribly uncommon. I don't know. It goes up, it goes down, it goes all around. Part of that is probably related to the shutdown. And they just couldn't get the silver out quickly enough, probably, is my guess. Silver Steeler, hello, good to see you. And Winning Image Photography is right behind her hubby saying, hello, good to see you. All right. Very good. Dove Season just started a new pot. Almost time for the coffee break. All right, there you go, Dove Season. Nice. Ah. Chuck and Plata says, Hey, Sal, maybe Chucky will get lucky. Flow on, silver on. Yes, indeed. Maybe you will. We shall see. Rush Sherwood says, Thank you for the info. Another great video from Sal. Be safe, be strong, be free, be blessed. Thank you, sir. Russ. Coins A to Z, yes, I'm one of the many who are hedging bets on platinum to come on strong in 2020 and beyond. And you were exactly who I was thinking of when I said that statement. That's right. Son of a silver stacker makes sense. Yes, indeed. Thank you. All right. Glad to have the power couple here. Silver Steeler and Winnie Image Photography. Yes, indeed. Rocky Mountain Bear is here. We're always glad to have him. Ed Mole is here. It's all good is here. And uh, Ken Shen Kenji wants to talk about Ahmed Arbery. Well, I probably... We'll pass on that subject um, uh, only because uh, I'm not, not afraid of controversial subjects, but I think as long as they're related to the economy, I think they're probably more appropriate uh, on this channel. But yeah, that's a very, 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 very controversial subject, the Ahmed Arbery case. All right, very good. Um... Marik uh, Dobek, take a look at a 100-year silver chart. Seems like they needed this down spike in March to bounce up before the line trend. And this gives an opportunity to have a beautiful pin bar at the end of 2020 after reaching 20 to 25 level. All right, yes, indeed. Um, bounce up from the line trend, that's right. Yeah, that's because I think for a while we were seeing numbers that would definitely see silver performing under inflation related value for sure okay let's see here homemade bread is the best indeed mm. all right bogus we are negative already sal look zero pint whenever inflammation to negative governments are smart sorry uh, for them to live bonds i will watch them losing purchasing power yes indeed yes exactly those bonds those things are going to get, yeah, they're just going to fizzle, fizzle away. Anything paper, especially, they print like crazy. I agree, Bogus. All right. Gold Maple says, I think we may see a slower econ economic recovery, if you ask me. Don't believe what you read, Sal. That's why the metals are rising. It's chaos. There's no end in sight. Even if a vaccine is found for the coronavirus, the U.S. and many countries have lost trillions if you will be hard to get the economy to the same level as it was before. Are you going to see terrible foreclosures? Yeah, that's right. No matter what, even if they came up with a vaccine tomorrow, you're right. Uh, the long, the medium to uh, the medium to short long term uh, economic situation is undeniable. We're going, it's down. It's, it's going to be tough. We are going to be in a recession for sure. There's no, no way around it for sure. Trying to put a brave face. That's right. They're always trying to be positive about it, at least to a point. That's right. But I think that um, it's going to hurt us. And we're going to see problems for quite a while. Indeed. Press 1 says Donald. All right. Okay. Let's see here. Numbers are not actually going down. They are going up. 
Whoever's reporting and taking samples of people from each state. All right. And uh, that's the last uh, from each state. Um, not reflecting the actual number of people infected. Yeah, the numbers really can't uh, trust all the numbers coming out from the states on the coronavirus. That's right. I've heard about that today. They're saying some of these states are tweaking numbers and how they're reporting them. And it's very difficult to really make sense of them, especially when COVID-19 deaths are um, being reported and are getting funding based on how many deaths they are. So some of them, are they lying about whether they had COVID? Or if a 100-year-old former uh, wife of a, uh, of a senator dies at an age 100, and they put cause of death as COVID-19. Eh, you know, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm kind of inclined to believe that maybe she would just died of old age. And, um, you know, and maybe they, you know, who knows. That's one of those situations where they could have just taken the virus and injected it in her. Or somebody who was infected and taken some of their saliva and just came over there and just dipped it into old uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, Glenn's uh, mouth and taking a sample and said, hey, she died of coronavirus. You know what I mean? Ah, very good. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what these comments are doing here. If any more comments have befallen us since the last time we did these. Yes, they have. Gold, says American Super Tramp. We love gold here. Gold is awesome. I think I've got a little tenth ounce here. I've got a little tenth ounce. I got. I'm gonna shake it for you. Shaking it. In a capsule. Shaking the little tenth ounce. Got to do it. Lo lovely, lonely Zeta. Good to see ya. She could have lived another twenty years. That's right. Exactly. All right. Ah. Uh, Hillbilly Prepping says, that's nice. Very good. Thank you, Hillbilly Prepping. Yes, indeed. All right. Nice toolbox. Uh, all right. Terry79, do you like my toolbox, Terry79? How do you like my toolbox? Got to know. Oh, yeah. Dave thought it was hitting a bong. I know a lot of people think that, especially Sterling Cannabis, but this is actually coffee. I slurp it up really good. I exaggerate the slurps for the pleasure of some of the ladies in the audience here. All right. Okay. Let's see here where we at. Okay. Um, government and big corporations may just be flooding the stock market with money to bump up stocks. So idiots will see how the stock market is rising. Yes, indeed. They very well could. You know what, guys? Let's take a pause here because I'm going to see. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. No. Why did that happen? I need to get over here and find me. I need to get some of these. Try to find. I'm going to try to. I'm scouting now some numbers from scammers. Hmm. Let's try this one. Insurance scam. Let's try an insurance scamming company. Let's see if this happens. Pathfinder, let me hear your silver ting. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, here's some silver ting. I've got this two ounce. Listen to this two ounce. Here we go. You hear that? Pathfinder, there it is. As we're making a scam phone call and pinging the silver there for, for Pathfinder. We are sorry. We cannot take your call right now. One. Dang it. Can't take my call. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see here. Where are we? Let's find another number, see if we can call it. Uh, let's see here. Mm hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, uh, let's see. Du, 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 du. Trying to find legitimate in here. Let's see here. Hmm. Where are we at? We're trying to find here. 
Looking for numbers. Okay, fake IRS scammer. We want we love these IRS scammer calls. All right, very good. No one from the IRS is going to call you. The Farkas is here. Good to see you. The Farkas, been a while. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Good to see you. Ah, calling the IRS now, guys. Let's see if they answer. My guess is they won't. But weirder things have happened. While we wait for that, let me look for the other ones. Oh, here's a virus call. Try that one next. And I think this one's just going to keep ringing. Come on, please answer for me, please. I'm begging to be able to talk to a insurance or an IRS scammer. This one here. IRS is not calling during the lockdown. That's right. Get to really echo. Listen to this. Is it really echoing, guys? Is it echoing when it's ringing? All right, let's stop this call. Did you know that the hospitals get extra money from the government if the person dies as reported as having COVID? Yes, I actually just talked about that uh, probably about five minutes ago, Colorado kid. You're right. That I've wondered too. Uh, let's see here. What single word is used for the object cat in a box? Uh, hmm, I'm not sure. Kitty box, kitty litter, litter. I don't know. Cat, I don't know. No idea. Virus, let's call the virus. Okay. Tech support scammer. Try to call that. Coffee's good, Silver Cobra. <coughs> Very good coffee. Ah. Uh. Sounds like Chewbacca's phone with that gargling sound. Okay. 24 push-ups and I'll do curls at the same time. My elbows still bother me. I can't do curls yet. I might do this 24 push-ups here. We're not having any luck with scammers tonight, guys. The text now subscriber you were trying to reach is not available. Yeah, I think they're... They go out of these numbers. It's crazy. So I think we're going to uh, say not none of that now. But anyways, let's see here. Maple Stacker says, this is insane, Uncle Sal. I don't know how this will turn out for everybody. Be well. Yes, indeed. No one really, really knows. That's for sure. So let's do. Hello, Century Sylvia. Good to see you, Century, the man. All right. Good to see you. Actually, I think Century missed my... Uh, completion of the um, Royal Arms Collection video. Uh, I don't think he saw it yet, but anyways. All right, let's see here. Yes, Ryan, the slurp master, give a slurp. So let's do... Let's do 24 push-ups for Silver Smith. Here we go. We're going to do them now. 24. And then I'm going to stretch at the end, because I feel like stretching. Scammers are social distancing. That's right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25. All right. Oh. Now let's stretch it out. Oh. oh, man. Yeah, sorry. That was a little more a little more difficult than I wanted it to be. But anyways, okay, we're back. We're back, guys. Oh, shoot. Um... Have you found since you've been doing push-ups that your pecs are getting bigger? My pecs, uh, they are starting to develop a little bit. Um, Silver Smith did 35 curls each arm. I wish I could do the curls now. My elbow, the muscle right on my elbow hurts pretty bad when I go to do 
when I do those things. I don't know what's going on, but anyways. Uh, okay, let's see here. Centurion, no way. Last I saw was the, I don't remember, 2020, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh, man. Hmm. Yeah, let's see here. All right. C CCT lifted his butt off the chair 29 times. Very good. All right. Finishing up my workday. Listen to Sullivan Metal. Thank you, Florida Stacker. Awesome. All right. Yes, indeed. Show us your muscle. Set. Oh, there's not much muscle here. And uh, I'm still developing. I need some estrogen shots or some soy milk. To help my boobs grow. Let's see here. Silver Steeler believes in me. Thank you, Silver Steeler. That's awesome. Thank you. He's one of the few that believes that I actually do the push-ups. Although I don't know if we've convinced winning image photography. If by somehow we have, then I could say we've got uh, something going there. Uh, Native Stacker, that's because you stopped the stream too early to watch. There you go. Exactly. And that's actually, you know what? I probably will stop the stream a little bit early tonight because I need to exercise yet. Oh, indeed. That's what she said. That's right, since you're exactly right. Silvercat says, well, I hope we recover fast, uh, like they said, but I was thinking at least two to three years. Too many small businesses are not going to survive this. That's what worries me, man. You know, this virus is a serious thing. But I think at this point we have enough of an understanding of it uh, that we know what to do to try to avoid it. And we can't just lock people down. We have to keep businesses going. And already it's too late for, I know of several small businesses around here that have closed up shop not to be, uh, let's say, okay, Silver Drill Pickle, your audio isn't behind right now. Very good. So we're, the audio is going... Uh, Along good. Thank you, Pickle. I appreciate that. Exercise while you stream. There you go. Yeah, you know what? That would be something I could try um, in some ways. Uh, but I'd have to go to my elliptical and I'd be panting the whole thing, you know, the whole time. You know what I mean? Um, although if Gold Chick was here, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, Gold Chick. She says, are you going to pump me up? Yeah, I'd like to, Gold Chick. But look, what, look at the... Um, hey, Gold Chick. Have you seen my latest video thumbnail? Read what it says on the toolbox right there. Tell me what it says on the toolbox. It's funny you say that because I don't know that Gold Chick saw my newest video. Uh, she was probably thinking about, you know, me exercising. Hydroxychloroquine. Yes, indeed. All right. All right, Silver. So see you, Pickle. Take care. Dinner time for him. For the Pickle. All right, we got 69 watching now. 69er. Yes, good to see Gold Chick is here. Now we need Pudenda. And we need Jenny, uh, what is Jenny from Kentucky? What is her last name? Remember Jenny from Kentucky? I forget her last name. Jenny something, Watson or something. All right, breakout. No supply of AG. I'd forgotten. I had ordered something. I did a pre-order from Monument on March 29th. I knew it took a while. I think Jonathan estimated May 15th. I have no problem or complaints. I went in wide eyes open. I got an email saying it was being shipped today. Very good. A 10-ounce Silvertown. Nice. I still can't find a spray of Lysol, can of Lysol. Uh, if you ain't dead, yeah, there you go. All right. Yeah, I don't think people are going to want to hear me panting as an exercise. Let's see, Jenny from the block. That's why I Z. Okay, let's see here. Jenny from Kentucky. Easy, Jenny. What was Jenny's last name, man? I forget. J-E-N-I, but I don't know the name. Toshio, he changed his icon here. Very cool. Hanging loose from Hawaii. I'm hoping the yellow dips uh, with a better economy. If that happens, then I can buy at more economic prices. Who right? You know, I'm hoping gold goes down lower, lower too. But Okay, Gold Chick says that's why I asked. Very cool. All right, now I get it. She saw that. Here to pump you up, and I am. Henson, that's it. All this one down. Got it. Jenny Henson. That's right. Henson, Henson. Thank you. All this one down. Good job. 
But yeah, man, I was like, where is she, man? I hadn't seen her in a long time. I hope she's okay. She was awesome. I miss Jenny Henson. And if anybody knows her, is it Hanson or Henson? If anybody has any contact with her, tell her I was asking about her. I hope she's okay. And Mark B is here, by the way. Good bass player. Okay, very good. Very good. Let's see if any other comments have popped up here. Yeah, we got a couple more comments. Joel Dockstater says, My platinum is doing well. I just hope it's not going to take off from here because I'd like to acquire more at these low prices. I hear you. I hear you. Yes, indeed. I tell you what, it's it's taken a pretty big climb. You know, somewhat of a big climb. Okay. All right, let's see here. Silverholic says, Through this crisis, the Rothschilds are printing fake money in astronomical numbers to purchase real assets away from people. When the crisis is over, the banks will own everything with the blessings of the government. What a world we live in. Yeah, I tell you what, it's a scary situation. But you know what? They don't own you, especially if you own real money, gold and silver. Indeed. Uh, Century hasn't looked at PMs in forever. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, the video I was talking about, uh, Sinshiri, uh, that I was hoping you'd see is the one. Hey, let me get to it here. It's called uh, A Black Swan Wrapped in Royal Arms. That one right there. Yes, indeed. You might, you might like that. Yes, indeed. Let's see here. Held for review. What's well, nothing for review? There's no other comments have popped up. Not a single one. But here's a chat room crime question. Which of the chat room's luscious hot babes is the most likely to stalk Sal? Press one for Barb, two for Terry, three for, for, for Pudenda, four for Donald in New Mexico. What, gold chick's not in there? All right, four. Oh, man, the least person I would want to. Uh, uh, let's see here. Okay, Joe Williams missed most of the live. Thanks for responding to my comment. No problem, Joe. Thank you. I forgot where it was or what it is, but thank you for popping in. All right. Cool, Century. Yes, indeed. All right. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Where are we at? Um, Rick has got to leave. Okay, good night, Rick. Wife is screaming. I'll get the rest of the rerun. Okay, thank you, Rick, so much for being here. Popping in, you are awesome. All right, very good. Coins A to Z, Dove Season, four nines. A lonely Zeta, the bank owns all the land around here anyway. You have to pay taxes and be in the system, even if you don't want to. Yes, I know, you're right. It's crazy. Uh, yes, indeed. Let's see. <clears throat> okay. What else is happening here in chat land? Oh, man. Let's see here. Everybody's saying Donald would be likely to stalk me. Dang it. I can't have a girl do it. It's got to be a guy. Why did you do that, tricky guy? Man. Mm. Bottoms up in that coffee. I just finished it. Now I'm having water here. I gotta have some water. La agua, they call it agua. All right, Silver Honda is gonna have to make dinner for Mrs. Silver Honda before she gets home from work. Keep your feet on the silver and keep reaching for the gold. All right, very good. Uh, tell Mrs. Honda I said hello and give her a little kiss on the cheek for me. All right, there we go. All right. And tell her that's from Uncle Sal. That's right, Uncle Sal, who drives a blue Honda. But my blue Honda is not nearly as cool as your blue Honda. Ah, where are we at? Okay. As we pull on through, we've got uh, not a whole lot else here. And we've reached through the... Ah, Jay DeBow has made a comment here. He says, at this point, I feel safer holding silver and platinum than I do the dollar with all the stimulus and bail bailout loans. Yeah, I know. I tell you what. Uh, normally, I would too. But I would say that the dollar is going to be kicking around for quite a while. Even with all this... Even if they were to pass that $3 trillion thing. 
they're going to pump as much dollars out as they can. And it seems like it's not having that much of an effect, uh, at least for quite a while, like as if um, for the next um, a month or so or two months or even six months, it seems like. I don't know. Something about the resilience of it. But anyways. Gold check. First have to carve wax molds with grooves, which I, I've done one prototype. Oh, wow. Is that for silver? Gold check. Okay. Uh, tricky guy. Which one of your four cheeks were you directing that lady to kiss? Oh, man. Um, <laughs> I would say probably to be above board. It would be the left cheek on her face on her face not the right butt cheek it's the left cheek on her face is that's the one that i'm referring to yes indeed you got a bomb shelter says bob bob bomb shelter where are we at okay let's see here they make in all right let's see here and where are we at? Okay, French lips tea. Very good. Well, guys, I've caught up in all the comments here. And we've got 65 watching, a little less than usual. And uh, you know what? I think that gives me just enough time to get a little exercising done, and perhaps. You know what I mean? I think that's what I'm, I might take advantage and capitalize on that. We've had a good time here. We We did. And uh, so it's all good. Uncle Sal is Uncle Busted. I sure am. I'm busted. Exactly right. Okay, very good. Okay, coins A to Z. Which chick would you would salivate more likely uh, stalk? Type 1, a young pretty chick with a few fiat dollars. Type 2, an old ugly hag with an ounce of gold. Oh, man. Uh, oh, man, you know what? I tell you what. My taste, you know what? Uh depends how you define ugly i don't know but i i kind of like um i don't like that gold would i be a gold digger i don't know would i be a gold digger i don't know i tell you it's a good question i don't know how to answer that diplomatically at least thank you silver steeler i appreciate it all right son of a silver stacker are you going to buy the world war ii v75 gold coin limited mintage in 1945 i'm thinking about it um even though I really don't have that much of an interest in the coin, that might be one of those flip potentials. If I can get in and be like playing the lottery. Oh, oh, comment was about Chris Duane. I missed your response. Okay, yeah. Um, well, I think you said that um, he was uh, true to his uh, views, and I do respect him for that too. Um, I think that's what you're saying. I basically was saying that, that I respect that too. Hello, Vanessa. Good to see you. Was just about to sign off. Yeah, second wave in China. I've I've heard a little bit about that uh, from something from Drudge, but I don't know how true it is, and I hope not. That would not be good to have another second wave in China. It's not good. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to head on out of here. We had a good night tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, you guys, for the couple super chats, too. All that is going towards some new equipment, so it's uh, timely, and I always appreciate that for sure. And uh, I'm very much, uh, very kind of you guys to join me this evening for this live stream. We'll certainly be coming back on Friday for sure, yes indeed. And I hope you have a wonderful evening, a multitude of gratitude, and I'll leave you with this sage piece of advice, and that is to keep your feet on the stars. And keep reaching for the ground. All right. Take care. Take a squeezy.